Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. Okay, previously we've looked at how to determine the equilibrium GDP in the aggregate expenditures model when the economy was first private and closed, secondly when the economy was private and open. Today we're going to look at how to determine the equilibrium GDP when the economy is mixed and open. So what does it mean when the economy is mixed and open? Mixed refers to we are now looking at both the private sector and the public sector. Open means we have opened our market to both the local and international market. So as you can see here, our GDP equation becomes more complete in that it includes all of the four categories of buyers. Personal consumption, private sector, public sector, and international buyers. When the economy is mixed and open, we add the public sector into the equation. What that means is we're including not only G, but taxes to the model as well. We will see how the G are, is being reflected in the Keynesian uh, model, or the aggregate expenditures and output approach, whereas we'll be able to see how taxes are included in the model using the leakage and injection approach. Okay, let's look at some of the assumptions of the aggregate expenditures model when the economy is mixed and open. Firstly, okay, we assume that the investment schedule and the net export schedule are both independent of GDP levels. In other words, they are both horizontal lines, straight line. Secondly, we assume that the G or public spending does not have any effect on consumption and investment schedules. In other words, the public sector has nothing to do with private spending or private sector. Okay. Thirdly, we assume that the government's tax revenue are derived mainly from personal taxes only. The implication of this is we can say that GDP is equivalent to national income and personal income. And finally, sorry, number four, uh, we assume that a fixed amount of taxes is collected regardless of the GDP. Okay, in other words, we assume that a lump sum tax is being collected. Okay, in other words, tax collection is independent of GDP levels. And finally, we also assume that price level is constant. Now let's look at how the equilibrium GDP is determined in the aggregate expenditures model. Remember, there are two approaches to explaining how equilibrium GDP is determined under the aggregate expenditures model. The first approach is the aggregate expenditures and output approach. Now this is the Keynesian cross. When our economy was private and closed, we only had C plus IG. And then when the economy becomes private and open, we had C plus IG plus XN. And today, since we're adding another component into the equation and our economy becomes mixed and open, our aggregate expenditures become C plus IG plus G and XN. Okay, so as you can see, as we add in more and more components of buyers, the aggregate expenditure expands or increases. Okay, In this case, in the Keynesian cross, it is a parallel upward shift. Okay, So if you want to compare here, initially, when the economy was private and closed, our equilibrium GDP was only $470 billion. But now that our economy is mixed and open, we have a new intersection point here, so our new equilibrium GDP is 550 billion. So as you can see here, right, from this initial point here, when it shifts upward, meaning we included the G component, right? That means when government spending increases by 20 billion, what happens is real GDP increases by 80 billion. So what is this? This is basically the multiplier effect. Okay, I repeat, when there's an initial change in spending, in this case, the spending here is G, okay, spending increases by 20 billion, the effects is a much larger change in real GDP. The difference here is 80. Okay, so this is the multiplier effect. So if you're asked to calculate how much or what is the multiplier, all you have to do is apply the multiplier formula. Okay, change in GDP over change in initial spending. 80 billion 
over 20 billion. So we can calculate the multiplier is 4. Let's look at how to determine equilibrium GDP using the leakage injection approach. Now, when we want to explain using the leakage injection approach, we can't use uh, the Keynesian cross, okay? So we basically need to sketch or use another sort of diagram. First of all, we want to show uh, here would be our real GDP, okay? And this axis is basically both leakage and injection, okay? So we can put here injection and leakage. Now remember, what's leakage? Leakage is basically when spending goes out from the circular flow. So in this case, our leakage is basically um, savings okay, and imports at the moment. Okay, what about injections? Okay, injections basically when spending goes in into our circular flow. Okay, so examples of injections would be uh, gross investment, um, exports, okay, for now. Now, this is the situation when our economy was private and open. Okay, private and open. So now, since our economy is now mixed and open, meaning we have included the G component in. So G, or government spending, is actually an injection. Okay, so now, before that, let's sketch first the first equilibrium. Right, so this line is IG plus X. So this is uh, what happens when our economy was private and open, okay, initially. And of course, here we have the S, or savings plus import, okay. Um, here, at the first intersection that we have, this is basically our equilibrium GDP, okay. So again, this is our equilibrium GDP when the economy was private and open. Now, we have decided to have our economy become mixed, okay, in that we have included the government spending. So what happens, it will affect the injection part of this diagram, okay. So this entire injection line will shift upwards. By how much? By the amount of the government spending, okay. So this would be our new injection line, IG plus X plus G here, okay. By how much? Okay, I'm going to be consistent with the previous uh, diagram just now using the Keynesian cross increase in G is by 20 billion right so we're going to be consistent and be, make it the same right so now we have a new intersection point here so therefore we'll have a new um, equilibrium GDP so here's 550 okay from from the old GDP equilibrium to the new uh, GDP equilibrium there's an increase in GDP by 80 billion Okay, so likewise, we can also show the multiplier effect happening here. With the initial spending of 20 billion, it leads to a much larger change in GDP by 80. So how much is the multiplier? Or what is the multiplier? We can use the same formula. Change in GDP over change in initial spending. Okay, in our case here, change in GDP is 80 Initial spending was changed 20, so our multiplier is 4. To recap, whether we use the aggregate expenditures and output approach or the leakage injection approach, we'll be able to show the same calculations of multiplier effect.